there's a reason why the NIV has an effeminate voice, why it uses more uh, words per sentence, more syllables per word. Um, two people were very involved with that, that uh, it would appear that they are homosexual. Virginia Mollencott uh, is a, a vowed lesbian, and she was the stylist for the NIV committee, and she's come out with a number of books, is the homosexual my neighbor, sensuous spirituality. She talks about using tarot cards and contacting her dead mother. She said that God is neither male nor female. He is the one, capital O-N-E. So that's why the NIV uses the term the one instead of he. And if you look at an NIV, you will find out that the word he and him uh, and man, I believe, are omitted about 800 times. And in a number of instances, they'll take the sun out, the son of God, all those masculine associations, and they'll just put the one in there, this neuter person. And Virginia Mullencott said that the one is neither male nor female. So now we have this one in these Bibles. She said at a press conference a few years ago that Jesus was chromosomally female throughout his life. I mean, what a strange thing to say. So we've got people writing the Bible that believe these strange kinds of things. They did a study of, uh, a linguist did a study as a base line, 1971, pre-NIV, how many times the word man was used in a million English words? And I believe it was um, five out of 5,000, something like that, or, or 12 out of 5,000. Uh, and it had gone down appreciably after the NIV. In other words, this difference, you know, men and women are different. Are different okay? Uh, they saw that that was lessening and lessening and lessening as a part of the way the culture spoke. And so, you know, her being a stylist. Now, stylist is a person who does, you know, English grammar and all that sort of thing. But um, Mr. Martin Woodstra was the chairman of the NIV Old Testament Committee. And he was a friend of a group called the Evangelicals Concern, Concerned. Evangelicals Concerned is a pro-homosexual group. And the spokesman for the Reformed Christian Church um, said recently that it was believed among them that Mr. Woodstrow was a homosexual. He died of liver disease, which I understand is something that's uh, one of those diseases you get when you, you know. <laughs> yes, sir. 